Buffalo KJLH number to call this morning if you want to speak to Dr. Karenga or Steve Coakley. Let's go to the phones. Good morning. You're on the air. What is your name? Where are you calling from? How are you doing? This is Vincent. How's everything? Thank uh, you, Vincent. And, so salut and salutations to both your guests. Thank you. Brother Karenga, uh, I want to mention I was around the 60s, and I was, I'm not trying to start anything here, but I did see, I saw you do something one time, and I saw you get a crowd worked up. And I saw you. I saw you whisked away in a black and white, and it was the most shocking thing I ever saw. It that's was a all, lie, and I don't even want you to hear that. You do it. that. All you doing, all that's you, you do doing. It. See, that's that. I'm not somebody lying. Somebody I'm not you. trying to lie on you. I saw you. The police playing at you. No, 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 no you're no, working for the police. Let me tell you the truth, man. Brother Karinga, you, you are you are working for the police. No, I'm, I'm not going to listen to nothing like that. Brother Karinga, I don't want to hear no character assassination. Let me tell you. If you got an issue, I talk about the issue. I am not going to listen to no character assassination. I'm not trying to make you mad, but you're not making me mad. Well, listen, what you're doing yeah, is showing that you're working for the white man. Yes, why don't you paper. go get your go get your payment? Brother Malone, I'm not being paid by anybody. Brother Malone, you do this on Vermont. No, you haven't you seen me do anything like that. What you've done, what you've I done. I saw you with my own eyes. Look, when I was uh, are we going to do another thing, Carla? We're just going to hear this. Brother Malone, let's talk about it. But I did see it with my own eyes. I don't understand what a black and white is. What you did is saw the white man. What you did is saw yourself walking out the white man's car where you got the money for what you're doing now. Oh, what is a black and white? I don't understand what's going on here. Well, what we should do is get back to African liberation and be, get doing. Because like Steve said, we are more interested in the negative than we are the positive. Uh, Once he says something like that, what can you do with it? If I asked him when the last time he went to bed with his mama, what else can he do with that? Hey, well, let me ask you this, brother. This is this is where we all got to we got to we got to bump each other a little. Now uh, we are developing this climate of reproach. And I guess I've been called many things, including traitor, trick, hooligan, and all other things. And I'm not really uncomfortable with that. I've sat on this show and had people ask me things that I thought were disrespectful, uh, even wrong. And I still could, like we were alluding to earlier, uh, if it's unjust, uh, then it's not that difficult to shape. And I'm a little jumpy because uh, in the spirit of trying to develop a climate of reproach, even a wrong accusation has a place uh, even in being dismissed. Well, uh, I don't, and, yeah. oh, let's just say, let's just go for strategy that we wouldn't necessarily have to beat him off the air because if he's wrong, then there'll be just as many people to understand how wrong he is as you would know okay. for having been there. Okay, let me, let me, uh, let me let just me. say something. This is when I get, this is when I get puzzled because see, at different times, as, as we drop our guard to speak of our spirit of brotherhood, it, as we get deep into it and things get comfortable, sometimes we don't miss a chance to try to bump another person or to bump a structure. I didn't quite understand what the brother was trying to insinuate and if it was that if it was the insinuation that somebody get worked up and jump in a police car, I still don't even understand what it what what is trying to be said about yeah. that. Uh, can I say something, Steve? Now, listen. First of all, let, let me just, before we get off into this, note that the uh, number for the African Liberation Day is 213-299- 6124, 299, 6124, 2 and 3. That's, I just wanted to say that. Look, that's what I was just telling you, Steve. If you don't insist on a principal dialogue, you see, we can't have any dialogue if I asked you, did you have sex with your sister and talk about that for half an hour? There's no, there's no purpose in that. What we have to do, if you said we want to build a black community, is go on and build it. That man was obviously set by the police or some ex yeah. to come in and say something negative like that so we could get off the point mm -hmm. and so that the good that we were trying to do would be undermined. And well, I'm asking just, us what? not to participate in that. Okay. I've already I'm rejected that. it. I've already said that the guy's a lie and a plan. What I, else is there to say about I it? I can agree with that, but how yeah. many people How many people out in the audience who love the Panthers? There were some things that you said during that oh, dialogue. Oh, challenge oh, me on now. those. Challenge oh, me on those. Oh, hold on just a second. There were some things that you had said during that dialogue about the Panthers and who was with the whites and this and that that I have some disagreement with. Well, good. But I don't, choose, I don't choose to want to take this show and to get the ultimate clarity in an hour's time over some of those things because I'm going to accept those things you said not necessarily as the truth but your right to say that. 
And in a climate where we want to build a community, I look in the Nation of Islam, you got uh, one guy doing an article in the Village Voice and another guy doing an article in the New Yorker. It would have been great if they could have done that against each other in the final call, but the organization did not allow for those levels of disagreements amongst members, so they took it outside the group. So in this process, whether it could have been the guy could have called up and said that about me, I would have handled him with the respect of letting him say it. I could well, say I I could say he's wrong, and I can disagree with that, and then I can go forth. That's what I did. Oh, okay, but you bo- you bogarted him a oh, little. Oh, no, I don't. Hey, that's my thing. I'm from yeah. the I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, I ain't got to hear I, some nincompoop yeah, uh, but you uh, know, from, see, uh, act out his police duty. But see, that's the whole thing. Hey. There was some commentary in some of those things that you said that I could pick through and want to magnify and argue about, but the spirit it is. I, I'm not going to lose the spirit, and I don't want you no, to lose no, but the if spirit. I, if I attacked you personally, you know you'd have a different attitude. If I start going into and making up things on you personally, you'd have a good, you'd have a different attitude. My argument is this, and this is what I told the Panthers in 65. We must always have a principled exchange. Character assassination is not a principled exchange. It doesn't do anything except confuse those who don't know and and it alienates us further from yeah. those who are trying to talk. But see, I believe what is the I, see, I, I believe, you hold on. Can I, let me ask you a question. Okay. Can I ask you, what is the basis for a brotherly and sisterly conversation? What is the basis? The basis do we have the, principle? Can we have a principle thing? Or do you think character assassination is acceptable? Well, it's I know. That is the character basis, assassination acceptable? The basis. As a form of discussion. The basis of a principle discussion is that a person has the right to discuss what they think. That's the basis That's of a principal discussion, and in lieu of that, I have no, the principal. Oh, now you gotta let me the talk. Of this you, but you gotta no, let me what talk. What is a principal discussion? And That's the principle of discussion. But, but what is a principal discussion? But you see, who becomes the referee when two people talk? The other person? No, no. no we because, got, because, see, that's the problem. Look, that's when the, you started out, when you started out, you started out in a principled way. You didn't call me a sack of name. If you did, I would have responded to you differently. We wouldn't even had this conversation. It's because you kept on the issue. You understand? You didn't try to go into my mother's life or my father's life. Right. You stayed but on the issue. That's the point I'm trying to share with you now as yes. your brother. As your brother. Right. What the people see sometimes in you. Now this is from a distance. Like you gave your reflection of what you felt some people saw in me about being uncivilized or something. No, no, no. I said... Oh, no, that ain't the point. They don't even go there. That's not civilized. the point. But the point of it is, is that, is, is that in this process, uh-huh. a person has the right to to even say an unprincipled thing, as they get their turn, then we disagree with that. And what oh, happens? No. We, that's oh, why we can't stop have now, camp. Stop now. You ask why we, they have camps. Come that's on That's the now. reason they got camps. Steve. Come on now, brother. That's what you said. What, what has happened That's is, why we got camps. But you see, I spoke, we're not principled. I spoke to you earlier about a community in L.A. that is split over historic differences. No one, probably of either party, could police that disagreement because they would be disqualified because of their personal attack to the history. Well, I, think that, I think that the Nation of Islam could play that role. I think, especially under Minister well, Ave Muhammad, because he's a principled person, he's on a local level, he could do that. He's outside of it. He, he didn't struggle with them, he didn't struggle with us, and so he could do that. There are people that can do that. That might be... It but be the Nation also was that. adversely affected well, by the Sisters, as history serves me correct, so at a certain point, someone who might have been there might come out with a gripe and a personal insight that no, could be just as bad as the last call. I don't think uh, Minister Ave. Because I, well, no, it's not Ave. I know Ave all the way from yeah, when he was yeah. in. So, so, was so, in so I've, seen, I've seen him do things like this. Well, I've my, seen him my, build community. I think we, Carl we've Nelson done the could, same do thing. Could, could do it. I think Jamal could do it. It's not. It, I, I'm just making a point of is that it, we know who could do it, but, but those but in it I, have can to. Can I ask you one question, But Steve? those, those Steve, in Steve, it. How long, how long do you think the movement would go? How long do you think a meeting? If we called a meeting, if let's say Mr. Somebody called the meeting or Miss Somebody called the meeting, how long do you think the meeting would last if the first thing out of everybody's mouth was an attack on somebody. Well, I know it wouldn't last long you at know all. That. That's why now, we have to now, hold it now. Discussion. You ain't let me finish a sentence now. In the last five times I tried to talk, okay, Steve, we're going to be straight. I know you're excited. No, oh, no, don't see, don't do that. Don't do well, that. You got That's excited because you don't. You I, don't enjoy, want... I enjoy struggle. Brother That's what Copeland, people don't understand. I enjoy, brother I enjoy Copeland confronting Negroes like the guy that just got on. I, I enjoy exposing him. I enjoy making the point.
point about this. Yeah, but if you had given him another second, you might have been able to really expose him and teach the people. See, we cannot teach the people how to deal with adversity when we browbeat it down. This is, we are a community. Hold it, brother. Now, you got, brother, I got the whole order on you. Our community's disagreements with its leadership has been suffocated. We cannot suffocate these things. We must let them out. Get them in the air. If it's valid, it'll sail. If it don't, it'll drop. But don't be uncomfortable with being addressed in that fashion. Oh, to no, air. I'm, I'm clear those things out. Yeah, I'm but the guy you, you can call is his mama. Merciless. And this and I'm that. merciless on cactus assassination. Yeah, but because you I saw what it did. Yeah, and but I know what it did. Yeah. I know what it did to Garvey. I know what it did to Malcolm. I know what it did to Anna Julia Cooper. I know what it did to all the people in our movement and in our history that were whipped down by these things. And I'm a little stronger. I can handle these things. You understand? Let me ask you this, brother. Let me ask you this. Who are these people? Let me ask you a question. What role did Kenny Hahn have in your development in your early days in the 60s? None. What role did John Kennedy have in yours? I'm getting ready to ask you a question. What role did John Kennedy have in yours? I didn't know him at all. What did his wife have in yours? Absolutely none. What did his mother have in yours? Absolutely none. What did the police chief have in yours? Uh, Probably the same that the police chief at that time who used Rabbi Wolf and Kenny Hahn to set up a, through the Department on Human Relations, an early warning system which was to watch the potential rise of disruption in L.A. Now, many people have accused you and other people of being involved with the government during that period as a diversion from the aggression of the black community. Now, I'm asking you, having looked at some documented evidence of the three years you spent working for the Department of Social Services for the city of L.A., while you worked in the black community as a community leader, paid by the L.A. government, I wanted you to... Steve, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, Steve, wait a minute, Steve. Okay, yes, sir. I'm a social, I can be a social worker, and for somebody to sit around here and raise questions about me being a social worker, that's sick. No, it's not social worker, it's social worker with the influence and interaction with a rabbi. See, that's why people don't, don't, with a rabbi. And Jenny Hahn. Hold on, you're lying, you know that. You know you're lying. That's why people don't invite you. But see, that's not what you said. You fell on you had a chance. Right, and you fell off on for it and imitated their president. Okay, we got, we, got, we, got, we got to get out of here real quick. Uh, Dr. Karenga, tell us again what time and, uh, uh, is your event taking place? The, the, time, the time is today at 6 p.m.